What Hall of Fame pitcher never made a start? It's Sunday showdown time here on the Baseball Bruja. We've got coffee still. We've got three innings to cover. See who's going to pull it out and see if Adam can close the gap a little bit here. Yeah, well, and before we launch in, Aaron, we have the today is the first day of the baseball off season. Yes. So you may be grieving about the loss of baseball being played in stadiums. Mm-hmm. But you can keep coming back here because our season never ends. Yes. You never take a day off, even in the off season. So if you need some baseball, keep joining us. Stick with us every day, including today an extra double dose of questions, seventh and eighth inning questions. And then we've got who knows how many questions in the ninth inning. Could be mm-hmm. it's an indefinite number of questions for the ninth inning. Um, but let's just jump right into it. You folks know how this goes. We have a Hall of Fame pitcher here who never made a start. Okay, so we have Goose Gossage, Mariano Rivera, <laughs> Bruce Suter, Hoyt Wilhelm, <laughs> or Fred McGriff. <laughs> Fred McGriff is not a Hall of Fame pitcher. He is a Hall of Famer. Yeah. <laughs> and he never probably made never start. made a start. So that's a, a, a no-brainer. <laughs> Let's get Fred off the he's, he's just distracting. Those are red herring. Um, okay. So he's throwing off our game. Throw over game. Gossage, Rivera, Suter, and Wilhelm. Aaron, what do you got here? Oh boy. Um I'm going to go with I'm gonna... I feel I think I want to go with Goose. Okay. I kind of feel like Mar- Mariano seems like almost like the guy, but I f- I remember commentary that like they were trying to met, like he kind of they wanted him to be a starter and he just wasn't effective and so they made him a uh, and then he became a became the most dominant closer ever. Um, but I don't know if that was minor leagues, majors. I'm not sure. But so yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go goose. Okay. I thought that was true about Rivera also. Um, and I'm you know I'm thinking about like the era of goose and Wilhelm certainly. Mm-hmm. Um, like relief pitching just was not a as big of a well, it was, was a yeah. later on. I mean, he's a little later on, but Rivera was really the only one in the era of like specialty closers that was a, a huge thing, yeah. Sure. Um, but you're right, I don't think it's Rivera. You're going Gossage, Bruce Suter. I don't know. I think Bruce Suter was a starter for a while. Well, I'm going to go Rivera. I got to do something different than you. I can't go Gossage. Okay. That's not going to gain me anything. So the correct answer is Bruce Suter, of course. 661 games without a start. Wilhelm didn't start a game until 1958 when he was 35. Okay. (laughs) Wow. Opener. Um, Yankees were way ahead of their time. Yeah, Gossage started 29 games in 76, then moved to the bullpen. Okay. Rivera started 10 of his first 13 games as a rookie. Uh Yeah. So, Uh there we go. Bruce Suter. We, We both. Whiffed. Both whiffed on that one. But that's that's typical. Boy, we've been we've been running zeros here. Yeah, the the trivia pitching staff is shutting us down here. But Mm -hmm. you know, we're about we're about to clutch up right now. Yeah, is what's going to happen. So we're going to enter the eighth, and here is our eighth inning question. Oh, Aaron's getting warmed up. We're getting serious. (laughs) 
Um, what Hall of Famer? We're gonna edit this so that it is a uh, <laughs> makes sense grammatically. <laughs> Good grief! Okay, what Hall of Famer hit two fifty or better against Tom Seaver? So this could be uh, multiple correct answers on this one, but we only have to pick one. <laughs> is his Kevin Seitzer a red herring as well? Seitzer <laughs> snuck in there. He is not one of the option choices. Okay. Oh, oh man. <laughs> oh, we, got, we got so many distractions around here. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's um, the first day of the off season. We're, you know, yeah. we're, we're grieving a little bit. Yeah, no baseball, you know. Mm -hmm. So give us a little grace, folks. Yeah, we're laughing. You know? <laughs> yeah. We had the laugh cry going for us here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so Hall of Famer, who hit 250 against Tom Seaver. We have Hank Aaron, Willie McCovey, Frank Robinson, and Mike Schmidt. <sighs> I'm going to go with Hank Aaron because he had a lot of hits. So yeah. I'll just go there. Okay. And I'm going to go Mike Schmidt. Okay. Thinking Schmidt probably hit against Seaver toward the tail end of the career. Maybe when Seaver was, you know, falling off a little bit. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Okay, we got the correct answer is uh, not one of our answers. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, uh, well, Willie we're here McCovey. We Willie McCovey hit 260. Okay. Um, Frank Robinson hit 167, Mike wow. Schmidt 188, and Hank Aaron 220. That is something. I mean, we're just we're crushing right now. Crushing ourselves. <laughs> yeah. McCovey. Well, we've we've set ourselves up for an interesting uh, ninth inning here, where it's still very close. Mm -hmm. Um, and we have some work to do. So so. As you know, folks, we we've, we've been doing some World Series trivia. World Series, of course, just wrapped up here, um, and so we have more World Series trivia for our ninth inning here. So, Aaron, here is your. We left off last week with how long was the shortest World Series game ever? Yeah, we're yeah, leading off easy. today. With what was the longest, longest. Oh, gosh. These in World brutal. Series history? So we have we have uh, four hours twenty minutes, five hours twenty minutes, six hours twenty minutes, or seven hours and twenty minutes. Longest World Series. So we must be including like uh, extra innings. I feel like I just I don't know World Series trivia well enough to like where the where the um, extra inning games came into play. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go 520. Okay. Let's see what we got. Correct answer. It's not 520. Yeah. It's a good sign. I was going to go 620 on this one. Yeah. Which is incorrect. Wow. Okay. It's seven hours, 20 minutes. Wow. Game three of the 2018 World Series. 2018 between the Red Sox and Dodgers lasted. Check this out, folks. Seven hours and 20 minutes longer than the entire 1939 World Series. <laughs> <laughs> was One that a game? That was that an extra inning game? Does it say? Uh, it, it does not say oh, here, but you could, you know, up. look it I'll up while I. Get well, prepped I, for the bottom of the ninth. So I gotta. I need to get at least one question correct here. Um. Oh yeah, that. So that game went eighteen innings. Three oh to, wow. Three, okay. Three to, three to two. Dodger win. All right. This one is a question where I I feel like it should be pretty easy, but I'm feeling nervous about it because it's it's a tight game. So here we go. Mm -hmm. What two teams were featured in the first ever? World Series. Oh wow. Okay, no, this is not an easy question. Mm -hmm. I thought it was what two teams were featured in the first ever World Series, which I don't necessarily know. Mm -hmm. But this is what two teams were featured in the first ever World Series rematch. Oh jeez. So this is <laughs> this is World Series back to back. Actually, I think 
So we have Philadelphia A's and the Washington Senators. We have Pirates, Boston Americans, the Giants, mm -hmm. Yankees, and Cubs, Tigers. I'm guessing Cubs, Tigers on this one. Okay. Because um, they were both in it a bit in the early 1900s. And, of course, the World Series started in 1903. Yeah. I'm going that's, that's fair. That's fair. Here we go. Let's see. Correct. Oh, boom. Correct. That was huge. 1908 World Series match. The defending champion Cubs against the Tigers in a rematch of the 1907 series. It does not say who won. And I don't know that information. But Aaron's going to look it up right now. Wait, sorry. What, what am I looking up? Who won the uh, 1908 World Series? No eight World Series. Cubs beat the Tigers four games to one. So got the repeat there. Okay. All right. But, so and, here we and go. That was obviously the last one they won until uh, 2016. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So here's here's my question to try and walk it off. If not, we're gonna have to come up with our closest to tie break extra innings um when was the first world series night game we have mm. 41 51 61 71. okay well i don't know mm -hmm. who was in these world series i i doubt it was i'm gonna say i'm leaning on the the later end of this so maybe 61 71 we got to be thinking about um, TV times, right? Um, so I'm going to go 61, but I don't know who played. I don't need to know that, I suppose. So I'm going to go <laughs> 61. That's not asked. I mean, it could be. Question. I was say, it could be helpful just in terms of what you know, but I don't know who had lights then. So. Yeah, I don't. I don't either. So we're going 61. That is incorrect. It is 71. That's okay. surprising that it was that late when the Pirates hosted the Orioles. By 1985, all World Series games were held at night. So there we go. So we got 10th inning. This is dramatic and fun. Uh -huh. This is like <laughs> only the second, second time yeah. we've had a, a little tiebreak situation. Aaron, yeah. did you, you have a question? In mind, we can do a closest to. Well, so we could do a Seaver. What was our first question? What was our seventh inning question? Our seventh inning question was um, the Hall of Fame pitcher never to have made a start in his career. Um, let's go. Let's go. Um, we'll do a let's Seaver go question. Seaver. Let's do a Seaver question. Okay. Um, what do you think? Career wins, ERA, strikeouts. How about career? The question was batting average against Tom Seaver. So how about career batting average against? Do you have that stat handy? Hopefully. I mean, it's on baseball reference. Is it? Okay. All right. It's got to be, right? Well, we, we'll, we'll do be. it. If it's not there, then we'll fix, pick, pick something else. Um, okay. So career batting average against for Tom Seaver. Okay, write it write it down. Uh oh. career batting average against. Um, okay. Okay. All right. Wrote it down. All right. Wait, so how, are you looking it up? Okay, let me look it up here. Look it up. Okay, so while we're doing that, um, oh we gotta pull up our little ninth ninth inning here. Oh, we did ninth inning. Now we're in the tenth inning, but got to make ourselves big for this dramatic moment here. I don't look up really Tom C. batting average. Mm, how, how can no. it, how it's not in like the uh, oh batting again? Okay, batting against. Okay, yeah, yeah. That. Okay, okay. So, mm -hmm. what should should we do the our reveal first here? But uh, well, or the yeah. Tom Seaver reveal. No, let's let's do our reveal. Okay, so what was your guess? Two thirty-one. 
<laughs> Shut up. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> All right. That was a wild twin moment right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, scrap that one. I didn't well, look what, at what, what is the answer? 226. Well, we both would have been pretty close right there. Okay, so we yep. need another Tom Seaver stat. What do we got? All right, so another Tom Seaver stat. Um, what should we just go ERA? Strikeouts, wins. Let's go with something fun here. Okay. It's too it's too classic. How about um like home runs given up? We have it. Let me see if we got that stat. It's got to be in there. Batting. Um, or, ha- or how about. Oh, yeah, Tom yeah, Se- yeah. We do. We do have home okay. runs given up. Well, I was going to say, or we could go Tom Seaver's batting average. Ooh, that is a fun one. Tom Seaver. Let's try that one. Tom, Tom Seaver's batting. batting average. Okay. As a hitter. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> okay, what'd you right. guess? It better Wait, not on, be let me let me make sure I can get I have that stat handy here. Pitching. So now, I mean, we're now like if we're looking at the uh, scoreboard here. I mean, we're basically looking at the eleventh inning. We t- we tied in the tenth. That was that was nuts. That what just happened there? Yeah, yeah um, that was. Okay, why am I can't why can't I find why can't I, pitching advanced pitching or player value pitching? You want to go batting batting I stats? I'm trying, I'm trying to find it. Where do I find? Oh, here. Okay, let's yeah, scroll down. Batting base running pitching win probability. What a um, postseason. Oh, here we go. Okay, we got it. All right, we got it. Got it? Got it. Yeah. Okay, well, what's your guess? 165. <laughs> we almost had a moment there. <laughs> I just lost it. <laughs> what did you guess? <laughs> 163. <laughs> Oh, it's too good. It's too good. Well, so one of us, if his batting average is 164, this is good. <laughs> All right. Batting average, oh, close. 154. Oh, I got the win. Yeah, nice, bro. Huge. It right off. Oh, boy. That was, that just was a fun, that was one of the funner Sunday showdowns we ever had. Oh, right that there. was. That was so great. Um, I mean, you had drama. You had a humor. Mm-hmm. I mean, what a great way to sort of cel- celebrate the end of the season. Um, mm-hmm. First, like, official off day. I mean, like, you know, the, the day of recording, the World Series hasn't quite ended yet. So we don't mm-hmm. know. How many games it went but if it went seven today would be the first official off day yep. um so story time gosh how i mean i'm feeling like this just leads right into some just twin moments mm-hmm. you know i mean this is absolutely wild um that we both guessed 231 i mean you and I, before we started the show, you and I used to do trivia where we text the trivia mm-hmm. answers and all of that. And and as you can see, there are times where we guess the same thing. And that's not very, I mean, there's a certain probability that goes along with that that could happen to anybody. But there would be some really wild times that I remember when you and I were texting back and forth and there was one in particular where there were like 
six or seven, maybe even eight different options of things. Mm -hmm. And you could pick more than one that you thought were correct. And so you and I each picked something like five out of eight, or we had to rank them in a certain order or something. Mm -hmm. And, and our, I remember just like seeing your text come in as I like sent you the message with the question and then you send it back. And it was exactly the same. I mean, the probability of that mm -hmm. was, is, was just so small. <laughs> to to pick the same answers in the same order from so many choices it wasn't just three or four choices it was like eight different choices mm -hmm. and you know so those of you this is like a little look into the inner twin world here mm -hmm. uh, for some people there's a lot of questions about what's it like to be a twin mm -hmm. for us i mean for me it's a lot of fun yep i love it and there's a lot of these little kind of twin moments where we have we have a lot in common we think similar but even the people in your life you spend a ton of time with you both are given the question to guess tom Seaver's batting average are you both guessing 231 <laughs> i mean i mean wild times yeah fun time. and even i remember some of my favorite um I didn't like. Um, I didn't like getting mixed up with you um, when we were kids. Mm -hmm. I wanted people to know who I am as a person, which is one of the challenges. Like people are like, "Did you just play tricks on people?" No, because that I wanted. No, we, to, we never did that. Yeah. I wanted people to <laughs> see me as a person. Um, but playing sports, it was kind of fun, mm -hmm. especially basketball. Uh, we definitely scored quite a few points off based off of confused defenses. Yeah. We lost track of who they were guarding because they yep. both would be guarding one of us and left the other one wide open. Um, and even in baseball, it happened a couple times. In baseball, it's harder to like take advantage of something like that. Yep. Um, but there would be sort of like confusion in the batting order. Like, didn't that guy just bat? <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, yeah, uh, that kind of thing. Um, so, my story time is just highlighting the twinness, and uh, you know, as we end this in the the baseball season, head into the off season, I have a lot of fun doing the twin baseball thing here, and it's not going to stop. The twin train continues on folks yep yeah yeah the, to unpack a couple of those we one game in particular when we were seniors in high school um we were playing uh st john and um at home and the, one of their you i think you were left wide open hit drilled a three or something like that and they're like who's guarding him and, and one of their players is just like I can't tell them apart. <laughs> he was like yelling across the court. It was hilarious. Um, yeah. The coach was livid and the player was so confused. Um, <laughs> so that, that was a fun one. And then in terms of playing jokes, it wasn't something that we did, but we pulled off a moneymaker last Christmas. So Adam came to visit me in Colorado and, um, and my brother-in-law, uh, invited, um, you know, obviously my wife and I and and some other people over for a little Christmas party. And Adam was in town and just happened to be in town on that day. So they came over as well. And um, one of our neighborhood friends, Craig, um, was coming over, but they, they ended up coming over a bit late. And so... <laughs> <laughs> and so we devised a plan. Um, I mean, none of, none of my neighbors, I mean, I don't just like, Hey, I'm Aaron, I'm a twin. Like, I don't, that's not a thing. So, um, unless there's been some context, um, nobody really knows that I'm a twin. And so we're hanging out, we're just talking and we're like, okay, let's, we gotta, we gotta play a trick on Craig. And so, um, I had, um, I had missed a poker night at Craig's house and so um, I, I told, we kind of came up with this plan. I said, okay, Adam, you, you just got to like 
be like, hey, Craig, <laughs> good to see you. I'm sorry I couldn't make poker game the other night. And we're just going to play this thing. And then I hid behind the island in the kitchen. And so um, so Adam just plays it all cool. <laughs> hey, Craig, good to see you. I'm sorry I didn't make the poker night. And he's like, yeah, it's cool, no big deal. And then, and then I just like pop up. Uh, behind the island and we just lost it it was <laughs> yeah. it was one of the i mean it was it was an epic exchange for sure it was yeah and it's a similar one to that aaron you came to visit me at my work i work at a school yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. you came to visit at work and i had gone into my office some kids came up and just started talking to you as if they were me and you're just chatting it up mm -hmm. and then i popped out of my office and the kids yeah. lost their minds. <laughs> yeah. it, sure did. Sure did. it was like in between class time. So the there were like 80 students just like passing through that area. And mm -hmm. they all you double know, take every one of them. Double yeah, take. Like, what is melted. <laughs> so being, being a twin with you, Aaron, is a lot of fun. It is. Love you. You know. Let, we're gonna we're gonna keep rolling for those who love hanging with us we enjoy you too thank you yeah yeah thanks for uh thanks for making this fun for us i mean we we do it because it's fun you know for us we love having you join us for the ride you know it's shout outs to nick pete ryan dad we just celebrated his birthday ross grant um who else am i missing that's like regular? Romney? Romney's in with us all the time. So we got like dozen of you that are like our core people. We love hearing from you and it's a blast. So thanks for making it fun for us. All right, folks. Well, we're gonna be back tomorrow with another baseball card game mm -hmm. and we're heading right into the off season. We're not slowing down. Come join us again for another week. All right, folks. See ya.